Hi guys, this is Yak Panda 1944. Today I'm gonna talk about the 3% armor reduction for the German armor thickness in the in the game. So let's talk about the let's talk let's go deep into the this question and why is there a 3% in this game? So the definition is actually pretty simple. I can use, I can give you an example very very easily. 180 millimeter of armor, that is the frontal turret of King Tiger, the production King Tiger. If you apply 97 percent of actual armor thickness for the King Tiger, we only have 174.6 millimeter of actual armor thickness for the frontal turret of King Tiger. That kind of explains why. In, there are so many cases when the BR-471B armor-piercing shell of IS-2 actually penetrated the frontal turret of King Tiger at ranges about 800 meters, something like that. And I'm gonna explain a bit more. Why? Be this is all because of Brino hardness. Brino hardness is basically a measurement of the steel plates hardness if you hardness if you like to say that. During World War Two, the Brino hardness for German armor was generally in between two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty. Let's just say around three hundred Brino hardness for all German armor in this game that is considered to be average. Average uh, average steel plate. The yeah, explanation is that any steel plate which has a brand new hardness, hardness above 250 is expected to be weaker than the steel plate of, of brand new hardness 250. This is from the book World War II Ballistics, Armor and Gunnery. The example is, is the 10 cm steel plate at 400 brand new hardness any steel plate which has a brand new hardness of 400 and even above is considered is considered to be brittle and hard. 10 centimeters steel plate at 400 brand new hardness is is only about 8 to 7 centimeter plate at 250 brand new hardness. Any steel plate which which has a brand new hardness of about 250 is considered to be soft, so that is um, soft steel. This is why Gage put 3% armor reduction for German armor in the game because it's just because of the 300 or 320 Brenner hardness for the German armor. To be fair though, during World War II, the brand new hardness for Russian armor plates averaged about 420. This is from the book King Tiger vs. IS-2 by David Higgins. Plus, some areas on the T-34 even ranged up to 500 brand new hardness. This is from the CIA evaluation of T-34 in April 1953. I'll give you guys a link in the description to that PDF. 3% armor reduction for German armor thickness, that is true, not false. Consider the fact that if you put, if you like to put all German armor in the game at brand new hardness 300 to 320, that is indeed true. But Yejin, all Russian armor, armor plates have an average of 420. Brano hardness. Anything that is above 400 is considered to be hard and brittle. So shouldn't there be two 20 to 25 percent armor reduction for a Russian armor thickness? To be fair, <laughs> thank you. All right, that is about it. Thanks for watching and enjoy. This this will be my final commentary test run before the official one. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.